In 2015, Bishop Nicholas de Marzio launched Generations of Faith, a capital campaign to support the material and spiritual needs in all the parishes of the Diocese of Brooklyn. On Sunday, the bishop joined Our Lady of Hope in Queens Village to bless the fruits of the campaign there. When we presented the Generations of Faith, we had four case studies. The first was a religious to take the statue of Our Lady of Hope that was in front of the uh, gate that was hidden somewhat and to make a new shrine out of it. Even in Sunday's steady downpour, the parking lot at Our Lady of Hope was filled to capacity in expectation of the Mass and blessing. Our Lady of Hope started with a fundraising goal of $920,000. By the end of the campaign, they had $1.5 million in pledges. Now it's the collection period we're into, and also it's the period when people are using the money that they have already gotten in to make uh, repairs and to do different things they wanted to do. The campaign also funded air conditioning systems for the church and school. But today, the completed Our Lady of Hope shrine got all the attention. Now let us glorify our Savior as it shows. Though in this weather, a canopy was needed for the blessing, these pictures show how a space for prayer was greatly improved. Ignacio Artale, a general contractor, saw to the design and construction. The Our Lady of Hope statue was somewhat buried underneath two very large evergreen trees. And, uh, and you would not be able to see it. It was not very prominent. In talking, we wanted to accomplish something that uh, was very obvious, very, very forthcoming. The generations of faithful in this parish now have a special prayer space for day and night. The fundraising campaign spurred the church to create the new shrine. But thanks to the Artali family, there is a bonus. When I asked for the bill, which was going to be about $50,000, he said, there is no bill. It's a gift from the entire family to the church. So that money that was going to be for that, we're using for other things with Generations of Faith. We're fortunate enough to be able to do it, and hopefully it will serve as an inspiration to others. In Queens Village, Conrad Aderer, Currents News.